Greetings everyone, welcome to overpriced ugly and pointless EV from Mercedes. It looks like used soap that was used only on one side. They had potential to make any gorgeous design that they wanted because that the EQS has no engine, no transmission, so they can do whatever they wanted. Everything was possible, but they made this huge bubble that's on a diet. I know that sounds very confusing, but this car does look confusing. There are some advantages to this horrible exterior. It is more aerodynamic than Tesla Model 3 and Porsche Taycan. The drag efficiency is 0.2 and that is some kind of world record right now. The world record for the production car. No one will look at this car twice. It has zero sex appeal and any appearance whatsoever. In pictures EQS looks smaller, but in reality it's actually a very huge car. It looks much better in real life than on the video or pictures, nevertheless it's still ugly in reality. It tries so hard to look as a real premium product with its huge wheels and chrome and black piano details, but looks just like a uh, expensive Chinese EV car. Even with all the design tricks, like two-tone paint, different wheels, there are some actually good wheels on this car, and uh, body kits. To hide the, all the flaws of the design, it's just uh, an ugly car from the get-go and doesn't matter what you're gonna do to it, it still will be an ugly car. My personal opinion is that all new EV vehicles from Mercedes are ugly. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. The base of EQS will be used to all the future Mercedes EVs, just like GM makes 9-10 cars on the same chassis, EQ Mercedes will make the same thing and that doesn't sound very good. Interior is much better than the exterior, front has huge hyper screen and also interior has very big and comfy seats that of course ventilated heat didn't have massage. Also EQS has face recognition and it adjusts everything like seat position, driving modes, mirrors, temperature, sounds very convenient at the same time very scary. What concerns me about this feature is when you're going to visit your young girlfriend, your wife can track you all the time and that's not good. Also interior has its own headphones, you can message all the passengers and also you can watch movies, play games, check email, even do shopping, you can attend your work if you want online in your EKS. Car will basically do everything that a modern iPhone does and uh, do many other activities that will help you to avoid a simple conversation with your family in the car. So it's a perfect car for picking up your mother-in-law from the airport, but not so such a good car to going on the trips with your family that you actually love. You do have some good features that keep marriages longer. Such features is allowing your passenger to choose destination where you are going and you will avoid fights with your beloved girl or wife on the long trips. Of course, everything is connected to your phone through some kind of app, so you can check all the data like uh, how much battery you have, all the best routes to your work or restaurant, and you can do all that while sitting on the toilet. Interior does look very futuristic and uh, smart. Many say that materials are not bad, and sound isolation is not so good, and of course, it is very spacious everywhere. Under hood we have nothing, but under the car there are six different trims that are available. The lowest trim is the EQS 350. It is a single motor real wheel drive that develops 288 brake horsepower and 565 Nm of torque and the, on the single charge you can drive this car 638 km or 396 miles. 0 to 100 will happen in 6.5 seconds and that's the cheapest version. EQS 450 Plus, it has single motor that develops 329 brake horsepower and 490 Nm of torque. This is the long range version. It can last up to 785 km or 488 miles and 0 to 100 will happen in 6.2 seconds and that's a very big number for such a big huge as luxurious sedan. Then we have dual motor trims. EQS 450 Formatic develops 354 brake horsepower and 800 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 will happen in 5.6 seconds. After 450 we have 500. It has 440 brake horsepower and 855 Nm of torque. 
this car will go from 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. The EQS 580 develops 516 brake horsepower and 855 Nm of torque and 0 to 100 will happen in 4.3 seconds. All three of them have the dual motors and the range is not so big, 680 km or 420 miles. Finally, we have the AMG version. It still looks ugly with all the sporty body kits, but it develops 609 brake horsepower and 949 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 will happen in 3.4 seconds. The range of this car is 586 km and 364 miles on a single charge. The battery size on all of the cars is 108 kilowatts, and the weight of the car is 2.7 tons. But car does feel light when you drive it, especially through the corners with the four wheels steering system. This car has few problems, and I'm not talking about the exterior. The most thing that I hate about this vehicle is the subscription options. You have heated seats, a dash camera, the feature where back wheels turning, I forgot the name of it, and uh, those features you must pay from 100 to 150 dollars a month, depends on which country you live in. And that's just a rip-off. Uh, in 2025 there will be a facelift version, it looks a little bit better than this car, but it's still soft shaped. That's also a big problem, they didn't do anything to change the exterior. Also, main report that there are some squeaky noises coming from the interior, and that, that's not very good. Materials are very nice, but, but the how manufacturers assemble the interior is not good. Another problem is that it's more a gadget than a car. There are more reviews of EQS made by tech reviewers, not the actual car reviewers. And Mercedes tries to promote this car more to the tech CEOs than middle-aged men that loved conventional S-Class. And the biggest problem of this vehicle that you cannot avoid is the price. Price for good spec EQS, not the top trim, the good spec EQS is $145,000. And no one will pay so much for EV car. We live in a time when every day the price of EV production is getting lower and every year the EV cars that were $100,000 a year ago are $70,000 today the same brand same spec same everything and that's just a horrible depreciation from the dealership of the brand new car not on the second hand market and the second hand market hates the ev you cannot sell them at all this happened to byd to tesla and to many other ev manufacturers including mercedes i understand that mercedes wants to shove to us their EV cars because they make more profit and car manufacturers are actually lobbying governments to promote EVs because they make too much money from each car. I love that Mercedes didn't discontinue the S-Class like BMW did with the 7 Series and now you cannot have the nice purely petrol luxury sedan but with S-Class you can buy a V8 even a V12 today and that's very good. EQS does not worth $145,000. It is way overpriced and respected businessmen will never pay $145,000 on a fancy laptop on wheels. Maybe in 20 years time this may happen but not today. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about new EQS. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye bye.